black coffee. I'll make it. The terrible thing is that I still love him. It's a lousy marriage, but I still love him. I don't want a divorce. How about a brownie? A chocolate brownie. It's about three weeks old, but I can toast it. If Sydney and I break up, I will be the first one in my family to get a divorce. I thought you told me that both her parents were divorced. Since then, my sister's married. She's married. Okay, she's separated, but she's still married. How about an espresso? How dare you treat me like this? Yeah, but what about Sydney? 
He's human too. How is he going to get through it? <laughs> He's a man. Men have freedom. He can meet women anywhere. We have to donate a kidney and hope the man is grateful and single. <laughs> Do you think that my Sydney is thinking of other women that are dying like this? I guarantee you, by tomorrow night, he'll be at a singles bar, sitting on a stool on top of two telephone rooms. <laughs> you, you think so? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God, I think I've strained my throat. Oh, Florence, leave yourself alone. Stop tinkering. I can't help myself. I know I drive everybody crazy. Do you know what it? A marriage counselor once kicked me out of his office. He wrote on my report, lunatic. <laughs> I don't blame Sydney. It is impossible to be married to me. It takes two to make a lousy marriage. What am I going to do with the rest of my life, Olive? I have so much of it left. <laughs> Please help me. How can I help you when I can't help myself? You think you're impossible to live with? I've been a slob since I was a kid. I got married in a white gown with Coca-Cola stains on it. My mind is into other things. I like to write, I like to paint, I like photography. I don't like cleaning up. I leave a mess even after I read a book. Yeah, but I don't do it for myself. I do it for my Sydney. I want him to come home to a clean house. Well, what's the point of it all? After you're dead, they're gonna throw dirt on you anyway. <laughs> if only I could change. If only I could change. Listen, I'll tell you what. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call Sydney. What for? You know, maybe we've left something unsaid. Listen, I'm gonna give him a call. Where is your self-respect? You wanna crawl back on your hands and knees? Oh, he won't notice. He'll probably think I'm scrubbing the floor. <laughs> all right. What you're going to do is, first, you're going to calm down. Yes. Then, you're going to spend the night here. Then, you're going to go home, pack up all your things, and move in here with me. Would I be in the way? Of course you uh, I'm a pest. I know you're a pest. I'm the one who gave you the name. So why do you want me to live with you? Because I can't stand living by myself either. Because I'm lonely, that's why. Olive, I never thought of you as being lonely, darling. You've got so many friends. Friends go home at 11 o'clock. Come on, Florence. I'm proposing to you. What do you want, a goddamn ring? <laughs> if you're really serious, you know, Olive, there's, there's a lot I could do around here. I mean, my God, I could make this place look like something out of Architectural Digest. Uh, Sports Illustrated is fine with me. You know, you and I are going to eat like we've never eaten before. You don't have to cook. I like eating out. But breakfast and dinner, we're going to have to eat at home. And we will save a fortune. We have to. Because you know what, Olive? I am not going to take one single penny from Wait a minute. Let's not get too hasty. Well, you, you, you told me to have self-respect. How am I going to have self-respect if I take any money from Sydney? Money is the one area where self-respect does not work. <laughs> I am not going to take any money from Sydney, Olive. I'm going to stand on my feet. I'm going to be self-sufficient. And I'm going to be totally independent. <laughs> You're not going to do it to be, be like papering 